Hi there, welcome to this video on dark matter and dark energy. What is dark matter? Well, it's a hypothetical kind of matter. And because it doesn't reflect or emit light, we can't see it with our telescopes. It's invisible. This dark matter accounts for about 84% of the matter in the universe. So we know virtually nothing about 84% of the universe. It just goes to show how much we have to learn. But that's a good thing. Lots of discoveries to make. The next obvious question is, if this stuff is invisible, how do we know it's there? Well, gravity causes light to bend. And you can see this in a black hole as the light spirals towards the centre. So dark matter acts in the same way. It acts like a lens bending light. And by studying this gravitational lensing, scientists have mapped dark matter in the universe. Here's the map. The measurements taken to achieve this, uh, this map were, used, uh, were, were taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, when we look at how much gravity there is in the universe, we can see that there must be a lot of dark matter. And that's how scientists know that it makes up about 84%. It's thought that dark matter was created at the Big Bang, the very beginning of the universe. In the early universe, strands of dark matter acted like a scaffolding, pulling in the normal matter. And where it was more dense, galaxies formed. In the early 20th century, scientists at the time thought that the universe must be static. They thought the universe was staying the same size throughout time. However, Albert Einstein's equations told him that the universe must be either expanding or contracting. Now to Einstein, it looked like the universe should be collapsing under the effects of gravity. Rather than having faith in his equations, he added to them by theorising a repulsive energy to balance these gravitational effects out. And that keeps the universe nice and constant, as they thought it did in the day. He called it the cosmological constant. Now, when Hubble proved that the universe is actually expanding, he threw that idea out, the idea of a cosmological constant. He chucked it out the window and called it his biggest blunder. In fact, he'd found dark energy 80 years before anybody else. Now, his blunder is one of our biggest discoveries. So I think the word genius doesn't really cover it with Albert Einstein. Dark energy acts as a repulsive force, pushing the galaxies apart, and this expansion is actually accelerating. This graph gives us uh, some idea of the possible fate of the universe. I think the accelerating uh, dark energy acceleration model is probably the one that most scientists believe in these days. And in this model, the universe continues to get colder and darker forever. The galaxies and solar systems themselves aren't expanding, but the space in between them is. If you can imagine sitting in a classroom and the floor starts to stretch and expand in every direction, you will find yourself moving away from all your classmates. You're not expanding yourself, but the classroom floor is expanding, pushing you away from each other. And in this analogy, the classroom is the universe and you and your classmates are the galaxies. So there you are. That's a really, really brief overview of dark matter and dark energy. Uh, they make up most of the universe and we know virtually nothing about either of them. Thank you very much for watching.